According to Pope John Paul II, its foundation rests on the threefold cornerstones of human dignity, solidarity and subsidiarity. These concerns echo elements of Jewish law and the prophetic books of the Old Testament, and recall the teachings of Jesus Christ recorded in the New Testament, such as his declaration that whatever you have done for one of these least brothers of mine, you have done for me. The question of God is a question of origin and of human existence. What is ethics and what is morality? What is the difference? Catholic social teaching is the body of doctrine developed by the Catholic Church on matters of social justice, involving issues of poverty and wealth, economics, social organization and the role of the state. Its foundations are widely considered to have been laid by Pope Leo XIII's 1891 encyclical letter Rerum Novarum, which advocated economic distributism and condemned both capitalism and socialism, although its roots can be traced to the writings of Catholic thinkers such as St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Augustine of Hippo, and is also derived from concepts present in the Bible and the cultures of the ancient Near East. According to Pope Benedict XVI, its purpose is simply to help purify reason and to contribute, here and now, to the acknowledgement and attainment of what is just. Has to play her part through rational argument and she has to reawaken the spiritual energy without which justice cannot prevail and prosper. According to Pope John Paul II, its foundation rests on the threefold cornerstones of human dignity, solidarity and subsidiarity. These concerns echo elements of Jewish law and the prophetic books of the Old Testament, and recall the teachings of Jesus Christ recorded in the New Testament, such as his declaration that whatever you have done for one of these least brothers of mine, you have done for me. Catholic social teaching is distinctive in its consistent critiques of modern social and political ideologies both of the left and of the right, liberalism, communism, feminism, atheism, socialism, fascism, capitalism, and Nazism have all been condemned, at least in their pure forms, by several popes since the late 19th century. Catholic social doctrine has always tried to find an equilibrium between concern for the whole society, especially for the weakest and poorest, and respect for human liberty, including the right to private property.